With the 2022 NBA draft just weeks away, the Sporting News is here to take a deeper dive into potential draftees, giving you more insight beyond the top prospects that everyone's talking about. In this video, we're going to put five first round sleepers on your radar who should be getting more attention heading into draft night. Starting at the top, Ohio State forward Malachi Branham is one of the best pure scorers in his class, and his name is starting to generate some lottery buzz. Branham had a quiet start to his freshman season, only averaging 6.3 points over his first 10 games. After a 35-point explosion in his next game, Branham never looked back, taking home Big Ten Rookie of the Year honors. The ease and fluidity in which he scores reminds me of Bucks All-Star Chris Middleton, a player that Branham himself has said he models his game after. Looking against Harris, fires the three, fouled, counted, maybe for four. He can get a bucket from all three levels and has a pure shooting stroke off the catch or the dribble. At the young age of 19 years old, Branham hasn't even scratched the surface of his potential. Next up, we have G League Ignite guard Jaden Hardy. Hardy was the number two ranked player in the country coming out of high school, but elected to choose the G League route over several offers from Power 5 programs. Hardy had a solid first season with the Ignite, averaging 18 points and four assists per game, but concerns about his consistency and shot selection have dropped him into the sleeper range. His game and critiques coming into the draft remind me of Warriors guard Jordan Poole with the ability to get hot in a hurry. Any team that needs instant offense should target Jaden Hardy. At number three, we have Tennessee guard Kennedy Chandler. Chandler really hit his stride late in his freshman season, leading the Volunteers to the SEC Championship while taking home SEC Tournament MVP honors. At the NBA Draft Combine, he told me he watches a lot of film on Chris Paul from when he was with the Hornets, but I see shades of 76ers guard Tyrese Maxey in his game. Ahead of the field is Maxey! Vicious. When things really slowed down for Chandler at the end of the year, he showed he could control his lightning quick speed and utilize that attribute to his advantage as a decisive playmaker and scorer. His size may deter some teams, but Chandler would be a great fit for anyone in the mid to late first round. At number four, we have another Ohio State product and junior forward EJ Liddell. Liddell is a great candidate for the upperclassman sleeper who can make an immediate impact. As an undersized big man at six foot seven, Liddell is a two-way player with crafty offensive moves inside, sneaky athleticism, and a long seven-foot wingspan. He reminds me of key pieces on playoff contenders like the Heat's P.J. Tucker or the Celtics' Grant Williams. Four for drives inside, Williams for the plug. Like both of those players, Liddell has improved every year as a perimeter shooter, and his versatility allows him to play small ball center. Liddell could be a hidden gem in this draft class. Last but not least, we have Christian Brown, a junior out of Kansas. Brown played a major role as a glue guy on the Jayhawks national championship team, making an impact as a versatile defender, aggressive rebounder, active cutter, and solid perimeter shooter. His leaping athleticism, tough defense, and nose for the ball as a rebounder reminds me of Bucks forward Pat Connaughton, who has developed into one of the better 3 and D role players in the league. I think that's a perfect mold for Brown to follow in the NBA if he can become a more consistent three-point shooter. He'll be a late first round steal for a contender looking for a player who makes winning plays and competes every time he steps on the floor. For more NBA draft analysis and coverage, check us out at sportingnews.com.